Aloha, my name is Brandi Hall. Today I'll be demonstrating how to create a user form using Microsoft Excel Visual Basic for Applications, also known as VBA. The purpose for this video is to create a user-friendly Excel spreadsheet to collect data in an organized manner. So how do we do that? First of all, you need to enable the Developer tab if you've never used VBA or macros before. I'll demonstrate how to create macro buttons and also how to use the VBA editor to define fields to collect specific data values such as name, date, email, or phone number. I'll also show you how to create predetermined options. For example, when a user is entering a date, they need to enter it in a specific format such as two-digit day, two-digit month, and four-digit year. I'll also show you how to input user error messages to help the user enter information correctly. Once we get our user form up and running correctly, then we'll add extra things to it to make it appealing to the user. We can add pictures, opening messages, and closing messages to our workbooks as well. Here is an example of a workbook I created. And by the end of this video, you should be able to recreate the, this workbook as well. If you click on this button called New Contact, it will call up the user form for the user to input data. So you see here, I have the different fields where the user will enter the data. When you're done entering the data, it shows up right here in the spreadsheet. You don't need to do anything else. So if you want to do another contact, press the button again, enter in the same data. You can reuse the form. You can clear it once you do once you enter in information. Or if you're done entering new contacts, go ahead and cancel. Let's start working on our user form. If you don't have this developer tab, up in your ribbon, then you need to enable it. Go up to your quick access toolbar at the top of your page, and select more commands, customize ribbon, and this is where you'll see the developer tab. So just make sure it's checked and say OK. Now you should see your developer tab that has all the VBA and macro functions. I'm going to open up a new workbook. You can see how it looks from the beginning. First thing we're going to do is insert the macro button. When you're working with macros, you want to ensure that you always save it to this workbook only. Otherwise, you can mess up your workbooks by having macros open and other worksheets that you don't want it to be open in. So let's name our macro. User form. New. That's how you say you want to 
have the user form to show. Next, we're going to insert our user form. So let's go to insert, user form, or our click button is right here, user form. You can resize your user form to any size or shape that you'd like. You can go as big or as small as you'd like. Go to view. Toolbox. And these are the different options you have to use with your user form. So if you just hover your cursor over the different icons, you can see what they are. So for example, our example, we'll be using labels and text box. I just like to copy and paste. The hotkey for that is Control C to copy, Control V to paste. The reason I like to do that is so that I have the same size labels or same same size boxes. See, I created more boxes and labels. We'll just go ahead and rename these. First name. You can see the text boxes are not aligned, so what you can do is draw this dotted rectangle over your boxes. Once they're highlighted and selected, do a right click. You can say align right if you want them aligned right. I prefer to have them aligned left for this case. Aligned, right. You can also have it aligned this way. Yes. In my user form, I also used this is called the frame. And we used it with the option button. Okay, so I added some options to this frame here. So if I wanted to edit it more, do a right click and you can do save properties. Okay, so I'm going to rename the frame. In my example, I called it Family Size. And here where it says Caption is actually where you can change the name, how it appears on the screen. Right there. Working as VBA, it's always good to name your Fields. I'm going to click on one of the text boxes and edit the property. So this is my first name text box. So I'm going to call it first name text box. I'll go ahead 
otherwise you're just going to get a bunch of fields that say text box 1, text box 2. That might be a little difficult to keep straight. That's the first one. Let's do the second one. And I'll call this last name text box. And I'll continue to name all the files. Next, we're going to create command buttons, such as the OK, Clear, and Cancel. So if your toolbox ran away, let's bring it back by going to View and Toolbox. So here is the command button icon. Just drag it to whatever size you'd like. And go ahead and edit what it says. Okay. Okay, so once you have your command button set up, what you need to do is you need to assign commands for it to do. For example, the OK button. There's several things I want it to do. I want it to find the next empty row. I want it to empty the data that was entered into the different cells to the various cells it belongs to. For example, I want the first name to go into the first name column, last name, birthday, and phone number into the respective columns. So I've done that for each button. As you can see, the OK button, as well as the Clear button, which brings up a new user form, or the Cancel button, if I just want to cancel out of the user form. So these are called VBA scripts. You can manipulate the VBA scripts to whatever needs your data sheet need um, requires. Next, I'll show you how to format a specific text box. So for birthday, if you just double click on the text box, it'll bring up exactly where it is in your VBA script. And I've already put some script into there. So for this example, for birthday, I want it to be formatted as a date in this specific format right here, the two-digit month, two-digit date, four-digit year. And if it's not entered in that specific format, I want the user to see a message, an error message. And it'll read, the value you entered is not a valid date. Please enter in the format as shown here. So if you're not familiar with VBA script or VBA codes, what I've done in the past is just simply look on the internet and copy and paste various scripts that are on the available on the web and just manipulate the data to fit the needs of my specific project. Now that we've got the basics of our user form down, let's go ahead and make our form pretty. We can do a right click on the user form itself, properties, and go to the picture option here. You're going to see three little dots. That means you have an option to do something there. I'm going to go ahead and just pull up a picture. And there's the picture. Let's go back to our Excel file couple more neat options that we have here. Go to view. You can take off your grid lines. That helps a whole bunch. And page layout, background. And go ahead and insert picture there as well. Now let's see if our macro works. Click on new contact. And here's our form. Let's see if our error message works. There we go. Value entered is not a valid date. Please enter in the Let's go ahead and just finish out this user form so we can see how it shows up on the data sheet. So it enters into the respective columns. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching.